Thank you so much for being here tonight. Welcome to our new Digital Alchemist series, uh, in which digital creators with the gift to reimagine and create a future by wasting nothing by data and exploring nothing by their imagination will take place. Tonight, we will have the Farrican senior 3D designer, Arthur Musafari, uh, who is going to present how everyone can create a metahuman and export it to video calls and other platforms. Hello, Arthur. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Um, yeah, I'm a 3D designer at the Fabricant, uh, working for two years already. And yeah, like Pedro already mentioned, I will show you how to set up, uh, how to create a MetaHuman, how to get MetaHuman on video calls, and maybe if we have time, I can also show you wearing MetaHuman um, um, AR filters, for example, uh, SnapLens filters. Um, Perfect. So, Arthur, before we start, I would love to tell our community and all of the audience here tonight that at the end, we will share a mystery box with those people who stay here until the end. Uh, it's a mystery box filled with a trick, with a digital trick, and you will love it. It's a digital garment. I cannot say like anything else, but please just stay tuned and keep on watching. Uh, at the end, you can like also like submit your questions on the Arcadia channel by typing your questions or comments, and we will try to reply all of them after this conversation. And uh, also, the this uh, live streaming is being recorded to be presented on the Fabricants YouTube channel. So thank you so much, all of you, for being here tonight and for being part of this movement. Um, thank you, Arthur, please. Uh, the mic is yours. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Um, like you see, I can uh, use my phone for uh, tracking the face expressions. And it, it's pretty cool because it's uh, for free. Back in the days when I started uh, to make characters, it was so complicated. And uh, also, drive a face, you, you will probably need a professional gear but um, yeah the te technology is growing so fast and we can use uh, our phones in 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 my pipeline I'm using uh, iPhone uh, for the capturing so for I'm sorry for Android users uh, for Android users uh, you will probably need to run an external application on your desktop PC so uh, it's called uh, Faceware. For the iPhone users, you are lucky and you can exactly doing what I'm doing now. Mm, for uh, yeah, to get started, I will just turn off my camera and uh, yeah, show you how how to go through and how to set it up. Because uh, while working and having this call, this will be too intense for my PC. <laughs> yeah, let's jump to it. And let me check how I can uh, share my screen. I love to use Vueref. Uh, it's a cool application where you can drop your files, uh, um, PNGs, or yeah, to make a mood board. So um, today we will cover all of this, and uh, this is the pipeline to to have this running. So I hope. Um, it is not too complex. It is uh, quite easy to set it up, but you, you need to proper set it up to make it workable. And uh, of course, because we are working with MetaHumans, uh, we will need Unreal Engine. Just a couple months ago, uh, Unreal Engine re released their new version. It's Unreal Engine 5. I uh, really love the new engine because they use Lumen Lights, the new lightning system and uh, Nanite technology. Nanite means you, you can use high poly assets on your, uh, yeah, in your scene. Uh, unfortunately, you can't use it on uh, models like uh, with skeleton or rigged avatars, or for example, for, the clo for clothing, I, I was thinking, whoa, this will be super nice to have it. 
but this only works on static objects, which are not deformed. The first step, what you will need to do is you need to go to Unreal Engine and you, you will probably need to create an account and use it as to able to download Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine is, uh, for the people who don't know Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine is fully free. Uh, only if you want to make games, so and this will be public, you, you will pr probably get some uh, percentage of your earnings. Uh, I don't remember how much, but you can read more about this. So first step, you you, will, you can yeah you need to download this engine and uh, Unreal Engine is made for games back days, but since couple of years. Uh, also, a lot of movie uh, makers, uh, film industries, movie industries, and um, music clips, uh, you, you see them uh, using for the virtual production because it's cheaper to, uh, to, to uh, create an environment like this than uh, just to rent a place and then create your uh, environment. So that's why also movies, uh, it's really common in movies. So once you, you have, uh, you have to download the app, it's available for Mac and Windows. I'm running on Windows. So your first step will be just downloading. And then after creating your account, you will have to jump into MetaHuman Creator. So uh, MetaHuman Creator is an, a website where you, a standalone website so you can access it, access this website by this link and the nice part is pixel streamed so uh, what it means uh, you can um, have a super nice graphic while you're creating a meet meta human and uh, without yeah, without any good PC to run uh, the configurator. It takes a little bit of time to load and to connect to their server, but uh, you will see, you can also change the quality. You can make adjustments, create your own avatars. It's super easy to, to create in there. Normally, I, if I want to create a character, I will jump to ZBrush. Nowadays, it's uh, not any more needed. And the good thing is once you have you have it uh, created. You can also use it in games uh, if you are planning to to have a, your your game. So you can create a lot of characters. And uh, for example, one day you can also uh, wear our clothing or wearables. Let me just refresh while it's loading. Maybe I um, I can uh, speak about the app you you will need to have. I'm, I'm recording uh, my face movements with Life, uh, Life Link Face app. It's from Unreal Engine. It's totally for free. And this is super, super nice. I have Life Link Face and Facewear, um, both applications, but I prefer for now Life Link uh, because I don't need to run my PC's uh, power. My iPhone is uh, supporting my PC and I have really good results. Cool. Here we are. For you, uh, it will look similar. So uh, you can choose any base avatar where you can work on. Uh, I've created one avatar, and this is this avatar we will use also in the scene later on. But just for for uh, making some uh, yeah to show you how how to customize avatars in in this platform, I created a copy because. Uh, if I will change uh, this avatar, it will take maybe half an hour to export and import to Unreal. So the session is too short for this. That's why I created a copy. And uh, once you selected your avatar, on the left side is you will find all the adjustments you can do. On the top side, you can optimize your lightning and also your renderings. For example, if you see I'm sorry that uh, it's in German. By the way, I'm from Germany. That's why uh, uh, it's all in German. And uh, I, I will just say what, what it means. So it says here uh, it's mid-quality and you can change it to high quality. You will also see the difference from the lightning, how it's bouncing. And I can go also epic. And this will be epic quality and uh, you can also select on the right side LODs. LODs are in games um, 
you will have different models for different situations. For example, if you are super close to a model, you have LOD zero, so you have the best quality and uh, your geometry is just smooth. If you go to far away, more far away from the model, it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, this detail is you will never see it from this uh, far distance. That's why uh, you have different LODs, so uh, you can go crazy and <laughs> create a mobile version or yeah, like GTA 2 or something. Uh, but we will work on LOD zero, so it's the highest quality. And uh, let me check where I can. Ah, oh, yeah, uh, on the left side here, you can also change the lightning. Uh, we can go through, and uh, you can choose uh, HDR eyes and see how the model is looking at the day or, for example, at night. I personally love this light. Uh, Reminds me of also on uh, Matrix uh, game that Epic just gave away uh, to to test on. So you can also download the demo and try all the new features. We can also keep first with the basic light, and then uh, yeah, we can at the end we will change it. So in the first uh, tab on the left side, uh, it says uh, mix. What you can do here. Uh, you can drop any avatar and you you can then decide how uh, in which direction should the, this avatar go for example oh yeah it says uh, i need to turn off the animations that's why uh, it doesn't work now it's working so you can decide for example you can uh, say okay this man and uh, maybe we want to have this woman and let's see and this woman uh, you will see how it works uh, so we will take some average of them and for example you have now uh, this touch point and if you click on the nose you can drive the nose like the woman's nose is or uh, yeah this guy on the top so you can play around you have all this flexibility to adjust uh, let's create something here, everywhere, yeah, where you, you see the touch points, you can adjust it. I think kind of like this, and then, um, yeah, this is for the head, uh, maybe. Uh, the lips are also important to see. Yeah. Mm. So this is one method of uh, to create. It's super simple, and uh, you will get kind of uh, results maybe you're looking for. But you can also look down below here, and uh, you can adjust it by dragging this spot. Uh, it, it doesn't take this average uh, mix anymore so uh, you have more your control how you want to adjust um, even more with even more precision you can if you click on the um, modeling it says modeling um, you, you can even have more adjustments so let me check Head. I didn't like this shape, that's why I'm yeah. correcting this. Okay, uh, let's say we are happy and we can say preview. And uh, now you can also try um, facial animation, but uh, this is the standard <laughs> pose. Uh, you can also, on the right side where you see this clip, you can also s select different uh, animations. And this is Mimic, so it will show you all the expressions you may want to use. And of course, they have also a body simulation so you can have a look
how it's actually looking like. For for now, he's uh, kind of naked, but we will put some clothes uh, yeah, on him. Next, uh, after mix, uh, we have the... We, we can adjust the taint and the skin. So uh, you can uh, pick here the color and adjust it how you want to. And what I really love is the next slider. Uh, you can choose uh, a texture, a skin texture. So if, if, if I go more left, he looks like super young. If I go more right, old. So you can uh, cr create something you like. So I will pick up, for example, this one. And um, contrast, yeah, I don't play around with this a lot. But you can uh, try it out. In here, you, it's, it says um, how rough and uh, how rough the skin should be. I like more glossy. So uh, I will put it somewhere here. The next point is um, the eye. So you can also uh, pick up some colors you like. Uh, let's try brown, blue, whatever you want. Let's let's pick uh, the green ones. And uh, in here, you can also uh, make some more um, details uh, for the eyes. I can zoom in a little bit so you can also see. Um, you can uh, crank this up or make it smaller. You can also create something super unrealistic, <laughs> big eyes, big pupils. So it's up to you how you want to. And uh, let me check. And this is the inner eye, uh, the whiteness of the eye. Um, I would not make it too white because eyes are not white. And uh, this will make, make it too yeah, unrealistic. Uh, so I'm always adding a little bit of veins to have more natural eyes. And uh, yeah, I, I think you will maybe if it's your first time, you will spend like hours just generating uh, random uh, meta humans. Uh, it's super fun to use it. And for the teeth, you <laughs> you can bleach your teeth. Yeah, if you have like uh, you can. Um, you can make it more white or more uh, yellow, and uh, you can. What I also like to do is to make some random teeth because, yeah, only like I don't like fake teeth which are super straight and perfect. So I do just maybe it's too much something like this. So we have uh, more natural. Uh, teeth and uh, you can also play around here uh, whatever you prefer uh, we can also open the mouth and this is the last slider so you can also look through um, let's go to the next step next step will be uh, yeah you can uh, it's makeup, so you can uh, put some makeup on uh, on your avatar if you like to. Um, you have the freedom to use different colors. Uh, you can use it in here and create something uh, yeah, you prefer. But if you have some Photoshop skills or Substance Painter, you could also uh, do it there and then uh, create your own uh, exclusive uh, makeup. Um, yeah, like you see, you can also predefine also the cheekbones um, and, of course, the lips. Um, yeah, the next step is the head. So in, uh, you, you can uh, choose hairs. Um, there are not a lot of hairs in uh, in these presets because Unreal uh, MetaHuman is still kind of new uh, in the pipeline, and um, I'm pretty sure they will launch more. But if you are super interested in hairs, you can also create your own hairs in uh, Maya, for example, or Blender. And after you have created your own custom hairs, you could export it as 
uh, Alembic file cache, ABC format, and then uh, use it on your MetaHuman. I also did it a uh, couple months ago, and uh, it looks uh, insane. I uh, love this. Uh, I, I need to <laughs> to to, uh, to find more time and uh, try it again because uh, it's super fun. Uh, so here you can choose any hairs you you like. Sometimes you see this uh, sign. It means that these hairs are not optimized for LODs, and this LODs I were talking in the beginning. Uh, it's all about low poly model of this hair. So. Uh, if you pick up this hairs, you probably will have problems in uh, in games because it's not uh, optimized for games. It's only optimized for uh, for cinematic games or like with high quality uh, settings. I think I like this hairs also. Let's see. Let's check. Yeah, it look, looks good to me. So uh, next step will be eyebrows. Uh, pick up some eyebrows. You can uh, customize your eyebrows here, and then uh, you can also uh, choose some eyelashes. And uh, of course, you can also use uh, use some mustache if you like, and beard. And I think, yeah. I will just leave it for now uh, at this, uh, as it is. And in um, after the hairs, you have the body shape. So in in Unreal, you have uh, eighteen um, um, different body shapes. So you can uh, choose a small body, average body, and a big size body. So. Uh, in each uh, uh, section, you can also choose different body weights. You have this normal weight, overweight, and underweight. Um, yeah, it's it's yeah. Make sure you you choose the right body. Um, you can also change it later. I think in Unreal, uh, if you have the body types, but uh, yeah, here you can uh, predefine it. Um, I will go with just normal body and uh, yeah, average. And in the next session, section you have uh, the clothing part. <laughs> Unreal don't have a lot of clothing, so you see only three uh, upper body uh, like shirt and uh, lower. Uh, yeah. Here you can uh, select whatever you like and. Uh, you can also customize your color. Let's do it more fashionable. Uh, let, let me check. So um, in the next session, you, could, you can also choose different uh, trousers, pants. And this one, yeah, it looks good. Um, and of course, you can also pick up some shoes. The boots are nice, I think. Also yellow and the uh, laces and something reddish. I don't like the color. <laughs> so, um, after that, you're almost there. So you've created your face, your hairs, and the variables. Um, what you can now do is where we just started from the beginning. You can test your lightning if you're happy with the uh, with the body, with the hairs, with your makeup. And then we are ready to save it. Uh, you will not. Uh, you don't need to export it from here. So once you have created this author, uh, you can go back. Here is the home, and uh, we are editing this uh, avatar. If you go back, it will automatically save for you. 
request a second. So uh, you will find him uh, in your avatars section. So we're done in here. After you have created your avatar, I think it's good to now to download uh, the Face Lifelink Face app. Uh, like I said, it's for free and uh, just go to App Store and download it. This is my girlfriend, so you will see your yourself and uh, you will see this mesh on top of your, uh, on top of your face. Uh, while you're moving, the mesh will also deform. So you can, uh, you can see uh, how the geometry is in interacting with your face. There is a really uh, important thing in the app what you need to set it up to set up is uh, you need to connect it to your computer and to connect your computer you will need a IP address so you need to click on the settings button then uh, in the settings uh, you need to go to uh, life link it's all the way up top and in life link you need to add a target the target is your PC. So uh, if you're not sure how to, this is my IP address, but uh, if you want to find your own IP, IP address, you can also Google it. Or what I usually do is I'm going for the search button and searching, uh, just typing MD. Uh, so your uh, command, command line will come where you can type in IP config. And there you will find a little after you, you type IP config and hit enter, you will uh, get some information about your IP address. And uh, I think it's IP4. So uh, you will see a lot of numbers. But uh, yeah, just look for IP4 and uh, you will find it. So after you have your IP address, uh, you, you need to put it in, in the targets. So you, you just need to do it one time. <laughs> and it should work. Let me open up Unreal so we can have a look uh, how to import. Also important uh, to know, uh, the scene where I, I will work on is from Unreal Engine. Uh, they created a really nice lightning scene so you can uh, choose between different light setups and uh, in, in this session I will also use the same file and see one second if you have Unreal uh, downloaded you will have this epic launcher and in the epic launcher you can add your versions for I'm working already in Unreal Engine 5.01 on top of the screen, you see a marketplace. So what I, I did is I typed in MHC, uh, stands for MetaHuman Creator. And then uh, you can download for free this scene. And um, annoying part is uh, it's only uh, for now, at least they didn't optimize it for Unreal Engine 5. So at the first run, uh, when when you want to to create a project, it will uh, ask you, do you want to create a project? You say yes, and then you don't uh, save it on your hard drive. Then you need to open up a uh, first time with Unreal Engine 4. But I'm pretty sure they they will uh, update this uh, Lightning scene soon for Unreal Engine 5. So what I did is I uh, opened up in 4, saved, closed, and then op opened up in Unreal Engine 5 and what Unreal Engine 5 is doing is it's creating the same scene as a copy and then you are able also to use in Unreal Engine 5. Let me start Unreal Engine. Uh, in, the, in the meantime, while it's opening, we can uh, go through the requirements you will probably need to stream. I'm streaming through OBS. Uh, it's uh, OBS is open broadcast software. And uh, you can, yeah, almost all uh, streamers using this software, you can um, input some uh, video or uh, also you can uh, exp uh, stream from there on Twitch or on, uh, wh wh wherever you want, on YouTube, for example. And uh, what, I, what we will do is we will use OBS to stream and, and simulate this um, webcam digital webcam to, to be able to use it on calls. Open a project. 
to make it workable, you need to go to OBS and download OBS uh, for your computer to receive the data from uh, Unreal to OBS. We will need this plugin, OBS Spot 2 plugin. So we can stream from Unreal to OBS. And uh, yeah, and this, this is uh, a software where you can uh, um, uh, um, capture your camera in Unreal and go back to OBS. Uh, let me check how I can move my window. Once you have downloaded Unreal and open up the scene, uh, Meta Human Lightning scene, which I showed in just minutes ago, uh, you will be somewhere here in this scene. And this is the main stage, like in a photo studio in Unreal. If you're super, super new, uh, you can move around with your middle mouse click and with your left mouse holding and going forward the mouse, you can go to, to the front and on the right side, uh, right click, you can rotate. What we are looking for is how to get meta create meta human to unreal and it's also super easy now in unreal engine 5 in unreal engine 4 you will probably need to install bridge but the bridge is now a part of engine so you don't need to install it if you go to windows window and then uh you will see quixel bridge quixel bridge they were uh, brand but epic games uh, just bought them and they are working now together and what quixel did back days and also now uh, they are uh, creating super high high quality assets for example for your environment use all these assets for free so <laughs> If you are looking to create something uh, real time rendered in with high quality assets, I recommend to use Quixel Bridge. It's free. But if you take these models in other softwares, it's uh, it's not allowed. So make sure you only use it in Unreal. After the, the uh, after pressing the button, you will have this window, and uh, like you see, it's super nice. You will have also this section where you can choose meta humans and this is where we just created meta humans so like you see this is the uh, avatar we just created but if i want to import to unreal i need to download and this is what i said in the beginning it takes too long for this call so i already prepared and uh, what you will need to do is after downloading you will have this blue arrow and this means uh, export to unreal once you press this maybe we can do it together i have i have it already so i don't think uh, it will appear now because if you're importing uh, with a human it will also take some time to compile the shaders uh, to optimize uh, the textures that's why i just skipped this uh, for this session but whenever you have somewhere arrows or uh, you don't know how to do it, you're always welcome to ask me. So once you've imported your uh, MetaHuman to Unreal, you will see it in the content browser. Down below, I have this content browser. If you don't have it, you can also go to window and then somewhere here, content browser. You can open so many, <laughs> like four, four content browsers. If you have like multiple screens and you want to keep it organized, you can use it. But if you don't see it, you can open it here. It's in, in Unreal 5, it's more like a pop-up. In Unreal Engine 4, it was always down below. Um, we go to MetaHumans and then uh, I have here some MetaHumans. So I want to use uh, the author I just created yesterday. You will see this all the way right. You will see this blueprint and yeah, now it's appearing. And this will be your avatar. And if I just drop it in, uh, he will be appeared in somewhere in the scene, but you, but you can also change the um, location of the avatar on the right side. And by clicking this button, you can reset the position to zero. And uh, here we have now this avatar in Unreal. Mm -hmm. We want now to connect it with a with face app, uh, Lifelink face app. You will need to enable Lifelink. And when you are importing a MetaHuman, they will ask you, do you want to enable this in this plugin? Just say yes, yes, yes. <laughs> because if you don't enable it, uh, it will not work. 
so Unreal is uh, just saying enable it if you want to work. Uh, that this will work and um, to make sure we are connected. Uh, to make sure how yeah to connect with that phone, you will need to go to the Windows tab and then uh, uh, somewhere here yeah virtual production. And then you will see LifeLink and LifeLink, uh, we just call it LifeLink Face app, and this is the LifeLink. And let me turn my phone on. I just turned my phone and you see, uh, I get uh, my phone uh, name and it seems like it's working just perfect. So uh, just double checking this and if it's uh, showed up, um, everything is perfect. Um, how can we drive now uh, or connect the, yeah, the app with this face. So on the right side, uh, you have this overview of your assets in, in this uh, environment. And uh, we have our avatar. I just clicked it on this avatar. And if we have a look on, on the details, in the details panel, you can uh, make some changes. Uh, on the right side, you can pick your face subject. So we are using my phone and I want also to have head rotations on so why they included this is uh, you can uh, also wear a suit uh, tracking suit like Xsense and uh, you don't want to override the head rotation with Xsense because Xsense has their own uh, head trackings and uh, just a week ago I also tested AI tracking uh, so you can move around, but this is maybe something I can show uh, in the future if uh, we want to. Um, but in this example, I, I just want to have all the animations. That's why I'm uh, enabling it. For for now, it's nothing happening. But uh, we can also, uh, if we click here, it's you can start the game which you you have created. Uh, you can start the physics, so uh, you can say, okay, I want to make it playable in this viewport but you maybe it's good if i show them so i'm in here walking like uh, in the game uh, you see the motions are already working there are some bugs and this is i didn't have this in unreal engine 4 but in 5 i need to reassign the hairs it will be quick fix but annoying for now but i want to move freely without this camera uh, so I can hit only simulate. So I have the normal control and can manipulate whatever I want. So let's quickly fix uh, the hairs. Uh, for the hairs, uh, I will open up the blueprint on the on the right side on the avatar. You can open up a blueprint. Blueprints are like visual coding in Unreal. It's uh, if you're new to coding. Uh, you want to learn in visual, it's easier to learn. And uh, in here, you will also have the avatar and you see it's, it's you have all these uh, breakdowns on the, the, bo the body, the legs, and you can replace it if you want. And uh, what I'm looking for is for the viewport here. So we can actually see what we're doing or what we're selecting. So, uh, our problem is the hairs are not assigned somehow and the information got lost. So you have the Alembic case hairs here, but you don't have the binding asset and we need to reassign. So it's, it says eyelashes and I'm looking for the eyelashes. Then we go. We do it the same thing for also for the fuzz or I hear it's just fine. Looks like eyebrows are working. Go down and yeah, here it's wrong. And we look on mustache. Um, ah, we don't have mustache. <laughs> okay, sure. And we don't have beard. Yeah, beard. So all good. Um, to save this, we need to compile and save. And don't be scary to close this window it, uh, because it just uh, opened up when I started the blueprint. Uh, open up the blueprint, it's a separate window. 
and uh, maybe a quick tip if you have it here you can also relays and uh, place it where you want so you you can switch around uh, if i hit play now like you see yeah it's working but the, the, like the facial fuss is set it. Um, I will check it quickly uh, if it's uh, King. It's strange this is offset it now. Uh, anyway, I don't have a lot of time to fix it for now. So we will keep it for now. Uh, the nice thing is you can also show your tongue. <laughs> this is a super nice feature, like you see. Um, so we're almost there. Uh, now we need to figure out how can we uh, stream this setup to UBS. I will open up UBS first. Um, this is how it looks for me. And, uh, and this Themes will be empty for you, but after installing OPS and this plugin, uh, it is uh, just basic uh, installation ex executable a binary file. So you don't need to replace uh, your folders; just uh, easy install. Uh, you will have here the spot to capture, and this is exactly where I have it. Uh, let's create for this exercise. A new scene, let's call it green. And uh, let you see, uh, this is this are the sources you can select whatever you want. Uh, but we're looking for the spot two, and uh, we call it green. Oh, it's already existed. Uh, for now, I will just let it here. Uh, I will not uh, do anything. We will jump in a couple seconds back to here. So we we have OBS and this plugin installed. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I will copy all these links in the chat and then post it so you can also double check. And uh, I think it's super hard to find it again or to type. Maybe it's more easy. Uh, yeah, for um, we just stop there because we need something like an application, a plugin uh, which sends this actual uh, Unreal scene to OBS. And there is a company named Opworld. Uh, they are doing this for free. There is also a pricing model, but you can do it uh, totally for free. And this is uh, super cool. You can also uh, make NDI capture if you know this. And yeah, amazing thing. So what you need to do is uh, you need to download this uh, plugin. And here it's more, uh, it's not executable uh, file. So what you will need to do is you will need to, uh, is it executable? I think it is, <laughs> but if not, because you can download both executable or uh, or the normal app. For me, it didn't work. So what I did, I copied this by myself. So uh, what I did is I just copied all the files and the, the whole folder uh, which they uh, provide. Uh, you need to find your Unreal Engine where you have installed your Unreal Engine. I'm using different hard drive for you. Probably it will be a uh, drive C. And you need to go to engine and then you need to go to plugins. And here you need to paste this uh, folder. After pasting uh, the folder, or maybe it already worked for you when, when you just uh, use the executable file. Uh, what you will need to do is Enable this plugin and for it to, enable, to be yeah to make sure it's working and you can enable you, you need to press uh, uh, yeah, this 
plugin icon it was under window and with edit and then plugin and just type for off world and uh, just, you need to enable the plugin uh, once you enable something or this uh, yeah when you enable a plugin it will ask you here uh, to restart so you will probably need to restart and then it should work i just I have it already here i will not restart after restarting your project you will see this nice icon and drop down menu um, it's super easy now to set it up uh, they prepared here easy setup what i usually did back days is i created own cameras and, yeah, and so on but now it's one click i just clicked on this and then uh, i've got this uh, pop-up window so we're looking for any camera and we want to stream via spout and spout was the plugin we in just installed and give a name for this uh, stream live and just when, when just just when I hit it, uh, it create the new camera. So I know, okay, this is new and it's working here. So I can close this window. If I click on cameras, you can see this preview. You can um, make it, uh, you can uh, park it here or you can go to perspective and then choose your camera. I'm moving around, adjusting the camera. This is okay. And we need in the details panel, let's adjust the focus. One second. Mm, I want tracking. So it tracks my face and uh, we're good to go. Uh, now, after you, you have created your camera and you remember your name, it was uh, Stream Live, I called it. Uh, you can, if you forgot your name, you can double check here Stream Live. You can go back to OBS. I have no, yeah, here. Okay, let me repeat this so you, you can follow better. Uh, so we're creating the spout. And then uh, we go live stream. And here you can, you already see your, the, the camera we just created with stream live. And now, we're uh, seeing this uh, yeah, captured window from under. Uh, the nice thing is uh, you can leave the camera now. You can move around and do whatever you want. But in the stream, the camera is fixed. And let me check. For now, the special expressions are not working, but I need to play hit play. Um, here we are. Let me. So, like you see, it's working, and uh, we can be live, almost. Um, there are just one important thing is uh, to create this virtual camera. Because we want to send it to, for example, on Google Meet or like I did before in Discord. To be able to send it, to send the signal, you need to download OBS Virtual Cam. Uh, it is uh, also easy to set it up, and then uh, you just install the plugin, and this will be appeared in the OBS. On the right side, it says Virtual Camera, so you need to hit Virtual Camera. Start the camera was it already started uh, ah okay i have two bears open <laughs> now okay now it's working um so now it's uh sending um let me jump to something where we can test i'm i'm starting a new meeting so you can see here uh, we're in the meeting. Uh, we're sending the signal to Google Meet in this case. Yeah, uh, this is. I think it's pretty straightforward, and 
as a bonus, I wanted to show you how to use snap lens filters. And so what you will need to do is you need to go to settings. And then on this video setup, you can choose any cameras. I have a lot of cameras, but uh, you need to find your OBS virtual camera. And this is what we also installed before. And uh, yeah, that's it. So you're good to go. Okay, let me close this and let's see if we can send this signal also to uh, Snap Lens. I've been looking for uh, another camera simulation, virtual camera, because uh, Snap Lens doesn't recognize uh, the virtual camera from OBS. So I found uh, this app, uh, Split Camera app. It looks like not serious, but uh, it, it, it is pretty nice. Uh, and uh, I think it's just old UI. And uh, uh, what you can do is there uh, split cam. After installing split cam, uh, what I did is I created a new theme and added a camera webcam. And in here, uh, you are able to, to see the OBS virtual camera. Let me open this one and make it super small. And uh, from here, I, uh, you can send a signal to SnapLens. So it's a little bit uh, alternative way to, to stream because of SnapLens, but this is how it works. Let me check SnapLens. Uh, Snapchat, uh, um, they, they have their own, uh, Snapchat has own standalone application for Windows and Mac desktop, so you can try on filters. Uh, in this example, I will show you how, for example, to wear something, something from uh, with, with creating. Okay. <laughs> the nice part is uh, it is recognizing this uh, MetaHuman input, so... Yeah, it, it's kind of crazy to have digital earrings on digital human. What you, you probably need to do is uh, you need to go to settings and uh, you need to select your split cam video driver. And this is uh, where it comes from. So this is only for SnapLens and the platforms where you maybe are not able to stream from OBS. From my experience, uh, Google Meets works. Uh, like you see it on Discord, it works. Uh, yeah, it's only in this case. I just needed to find this alternative way. Yeah, I think that's it for today. Mm, thank you so much for listening. And like I said, when you have questions, feel free to ask me. Yeah, thank you so much, Arthur. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please submit your questions and your comments on our Arcadia events channel here on the Fabricants Discord. And also we will have a mystery box for those people who share their own MetaHuman here with the community on the Arcadia channel or also on the uh, general channel. So thank you so much everyone for joining Arthur's talk on how to create a MetaHuman. Thank you Arthur so much for revealing your digital magician secrets and see you next month for another digital alchemist conversation thank you all thank you pedro also uh, yeah, i appreciate to be here and i hope you learned something new absolutely <laughs> we we already learned how to create meta humans like frankenstein right so this is great and also we how we can like digitally wear our own digital assets on on them so this is great and um, please uh, submit your creations submit your met your own meta humans um, i repeat for those people who share their meta humans we will send a mystery box with a, a special digital garment uh, asset uh, that will be helpful and very nice on your will look very nice on your meta human so yeah Thank you so much, Arthur, and see you all in the metaverse. See you. Thanks. Thank you.